All right, here I am with my first project of the summer. It's uh, hard to see here. It's uh, actually an old lamp, not that, not that tall. It's only about eight inches tall. Um, got this from my grandfather, so it's in, it's pretty old, pretty rough shape. Uh, I'm gonna rewire it because all it was wired with when I got it was this and <laughs> that's it just a little piece of cloth covered copper wire even if it was a full wire and not the and not cut off it still replaced it because that gold cop or uh, cloth seat sheathing is no good so what I did it was it was you know typical lamp connection took all this apart took this apart and started to sand that down a little bit um, what I'm going to replace um, the wiring with is I found another old wire from a lamp uh, on the side of the road but this lamp is a polarized plug so as you can see the one wire one blade is fatter than the other so, whenever you replace a lamp, you should uh, replace it with a polarized, polarized lamp, or polarized plug. Um, so I've already got it pre-stripped here. Um, so how can you can tell which, if you look on your socket, you've got one silver connection and one bronze connection. Uh, that's the hot and that's the neutral. So which one, which wire goes to what? Uh, the wide blade is the neutral and you can tell which wire that is because it has on the wire get rid of this warning label here. I can't really see it on camera but it's it's got little ribs on the wire itself. So when I go to this other end, yeah, again it's not hard to see, uh, one of them has ribs and the other one doesn't. So I know the one with the ribs will go and connect to silver, silver connection. And the other one goes to that connection. And then we'll put it all back together. Uh, what I'm going to do first quickly though, before I put it back together, is I'm going to run around run over the this metal shaft here with the drill with the wire wheel and we'll get that uh, get that cleaned up a bit here so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna save you staring at that because it's noisy and and very loud so I'm gonna pause for a minute and we'll uh, check the heck in a minute all right I'm back Sorry for the bouncing there a little bit. The camera's on a little mount. Uh, so essentially what I did, got off what's going to come off um, without, you know, stripping it too bad. Um, it's going to be spray painted, so I, I don't need to go too bad. So we give it a little bit of character, leaving that little rubber or a little bit on there. So what we're going to do now is I'm gonna figure out which one of these is the where's my ribs all right there's the there's the there's the copper there's the uh, neutral. So what we're going to do is we're going to put her back together. It's going to spray paint this later, so it's not going to be a big deal if I put the wires in right away. So essentially they just come with the bottom. And then you just 
feed it back up through. And it comes out the top there. If not at all. Alright. So we got a little bit of leeway. So there's the, the neutral. So I'm going to put that up through here first. the base of the socket. Actually, hold that. So put this on first. So goes on like that. And then we have two little buffers here. That go on. I can't remember exactly how they went on. It's the other way around. Yeah. That's over that. That's over that. the base of the base of the socket on this is all going to be painted so we'll I, I know we'll probably want to do it beforehand but I may take it apart after just to, once I show you uh, that we can just tape that on it's no big deal so take the socket and I'll see if I can get this on camera here Alright, so I'm going to take the socket, and I made a little hook, if you saw that, I made a little hook, and what you do, is you wrap that, double check, make sure that's my neutral, it is, you wrap it around way it goes on the screw. Good. So then what it does, apparently I reached my video limit on that last one, so what it is, I just connected the connected the uh, wire here for you. Let's see if I can stop that bounce. I'll have to get a tripod for next time. So what's next is you then take your other okay, we're gonna try this again here. Alright, just a mess up with the memory on the phone here. So what I did is in the break there, I just went and connected the the hot. All it is is just wrap it around the same as the other one. Uh, 
good to go. So now, what you're going to do is you have to get this back down in there. So I'm going to pull this wire out of the bottom. And it's going to be a little tight here. Pull it down so that it's nice and tight in there. So next what goes on is the housing. Now one thing I didn't realize with one, I was trying to figure out how to get this off to, to begin with. And see those little teeth? I thought, oh, okay, because it wouldn't twist off or anything like that didn't realize, I don't know if you can see this, but on there, is it going to focus? No. Nope. But right there, it says press. And there's two little teeth there. So if you have one, uh, you just hit push press there and it actually releases from the, from the housing. So, we're going to slide this back on, and that gives a little insulation to everything. And just give a little push, and there, everything snaps back together. See in there, the connection. bronze connection in there. I might give a little, see if I can get a little piece of steel wall here. A little piece, there it is. Gonna reach in there and just give it just a since it's old, it's oxidized a little. Just give that a little, a little polish up in there. Okay, and just make it sit flat, just pull it out right like that. Just gonna loosen this up a bit here and straighten up this. And what you also want to do is a little set screw there. Since it's going into plastic sheathing, don't put it too tight. Just put it there we go. Because you don't want it to mess up in there. So we want to try to get this turned so that the switch is away from the cord. I just didn't want the cord coming straight down on the, on the switch. So, now the moment of truth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that light bulb and put it in there. We'll see, see what happens. And I've been keeping, I've been keeping the plug up here the whole time, so I know it's not plugged in. So now, the moment of truth. Plug this in. And go a little. Ta-da! And I'm touching the metal cord, so no shocks, no shocks. 
Hopefully you would have called 911 if, if I got shot, so. So, ah, it works. So, we have a brand new working lamp with a brand new cord. Um, this, the shade that's going to go on it is this old one here. I'm going to spray paint that too. Um, took the glass out of it. It actually came with these pieces of stained glass. So we'll put those back in after we spray paint it. And it doesn't have a, a hoop or anything over the bulb. So it actually has one of these little doohickeys where it sits on the bulb itself. Uh, so hopefully once I get it all spray painted I'll get you, we'll post a picture and there's how you refurbish an old lamp so it doesn't go in the garbage. The final product. It's all nice and got a semi-gloss black on it. Got an Edison light bulb in there. And the top with the glass put back in, same semi-gloss black on it. And let's give it a turn on. Beauty. And we put the shade on it, see how it looks. And there's what it looks like with the shade on. Nice little soft light, good enough for a bedroom. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, do, you know, like, subscribe, send it on to your friends, and uh, there'll be more things like that coming. Thanks.